we're starting our morning with coffee. The frappuccino. Because I have a major headache and I need a coffee. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's going to be a good Monday because I am going to clean this house from top to bottom. Every piece of it. All of the, the baseboards. The floor. Dust. The ceiling, there's some spots with my ceiling that have just cobwebs and weird little indents and things that was here from like a previous person. Like, I don't know if you guys can even tell. Maybe you can't. I don't know. But like, do you see these wet spots? Like, that part of the ceiling was like faded and they decided last minute before somebody moved in to just paint it? And it still looks wet for some reason. Either that or it's a roof thing. I don't know. But we need to get all of that done today. Plus we need to clean up stuff from Friday because basically we came in Friday night and we're like going to bed. And then Saturday, Sunday we went to my parents so we didn't clean up anything from our movie. So we have a lot to do today. Plus we might have some very special things coming in the mail that I can show you the package of, but cannot show you the actual thing yet, but I will show you soon, but it's gonna be fun. Also, did we get out our Halloween blankets today, buddy? Did we get the Halloween blankies? Can that have a pop? <laughs> You're so cute. This is gonna look crazy. Just don't, just, 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 let me explain. So at the height of COVID, they were not doing tests because nobody could find them because they had put them out on the shelf and everybody was taking them and using them even if they didn't have COVID just to check and to have at home. So you couldn't find any tests. And that went on for months, actually probably a year. So then 20, 21, the president decided that he was going to send out rapid COVID tests to anybody for free and you wouldn't have to pay for shipping or anything. Just put in your home address. So I did that and I got two free tests, uh, well two free test boxes with two tests each in it for us and our family so that we had some COVID tests just in case we needed to to be safe. Recently. Uh, Tracy's work said hey you want some free COVID tests here so they were supposed to send her two COVID tests two COVID test boxes with two in it so four of this one which is Bionex but instead when it arrived it came with all of these so one two three six six yeah six it came with six tests instead and we're like wait that doesn't make sense and she's like oh well we have the test so we got six of those so we had eight tests okay the president again was like hey if you guys want free COVID test put in your email blah 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 we'll send you four tests four boxes so I signed up before I knew these were coming and was like oh I want some more tests just in case so I got four with two in each thing again just for the record so now we are completely set on COVID tests to the point where I can take two of these test boxes and put them into our emergency bag just in case we need them and still have enough to have all the extras <laughs> we're extra safe in this house if you haven't go I'll I'll put the link in the description below if I can find it I'm gonna it's a I think it's just the government website and then you click on it but I'll try to find it and put it in the link below but I just typed in um, free COVID test and I saw a link on Facebook and clicked it and it took me to like the government or like the president's main government page and then you just put in your email and your name and then they will send you COVID tests I'm not sure if they're doing if it'll send you two boxes or if they'll send you four but it's a really good idea to have especially if you are around older people people with immune issues or if you just want to be extra safe like me who is really scared and worried about health things it's a great idea i would just say go and do that I'm, i know we're taking extra precautions and we ended up with like a lot of extra tests but obviously since we have not 
um, felt any symptoms or been exposed, if somebody in my family would like need to take a COVID test, I would definitely offer it to them. So it's not only for us in this household, it's also for like my family and stuff. So it's a good idea, so I would just recommend to do that. Tell me, say, can doggies take it? No.